In this AutoCAD tutorial video, we're going to be going over the process of creating a three-dimensional model of an adjustable cabinet. So by the time we're all finished, we'll have something that looks like this. And the idea here is that it's a basic metal frame structure, and then all of these flat panels are movable, adjustable, so that you can have as many shelves or drawers um, that you want. So we're going to begin creating this cabinet in a new drawing. That new drawing will have two different viewports. The left viewport will be the top view. The right viewport is in a southwest isometric. And then down at the bottom of the screen, we have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. To begin, we're going to work in the top view, and we'll start by making a rectangle that lays out the dimensions of the cabinet. So the rectangle will be 16 inches by 47.5. So in my top view, I'm going to create a box that's 16 by 47.5. So going back down 16 and C for close. Now we're going to create some smaller one by one squares out of polylines that we will use to extrude and create all the vertical uh, leg type elements. So polyline. And then in my top view, I'm just going to draw this little box outside of the larger rectangle at one by one. C for close. Then I will move this box from this corner up here, so it's inside, just like this. Then I will copy this little square from this lower left-hand corner, so it snaps perfectly inside of here. Copy again. Now this time I'll select both of those squares, grab it from that base point, snap it to the corner and then finally for my last copy I'm going to pick these two but then my base point I will actually grab it from the midpoint to the midpoint right there so now we have our six squares in place and ready to go then what I'd like to do is extrude EXT select all six of those and then extrude it up 57.5. So we should have something that looks like that. Now I'm going to use polylines again to create the horizontal elements across the top. So polyline, and then I'm just going to snap from this corner to the outermost corner here, here, down here, and then C for close. I can use extrude again, select that polyline, and we'll extrude it one inch. Then we can copy this new shape from this lower corner so it snaps right here. So now you should have some elements going across the top just like that. To create the pieces that go across this way, we can once again use a polyline, and then we'll snap from this corner, which is the top of the vertical piece, to this corner, whoops, till here. and C for close. So we just made a polyline going across this direction. You can see it in the top view here as well. Then we can use extrude, and we'll extrude that line up one inch. I'm going to copy it over 
from this point to this point, and then I'm going to copy it down. So I'll use copy, select both of those lines, and then I'm going to go down 13 inches, 26 inches, 39 inches, and finally 52 inches. So we have something that looks a bit like a ladder on the sides. And if we measure from the bottom up to the bottom of that first rung, if you will, is five and a half inches. Then we need to make some shorter horizontal pieces that are connecting in the front and the back. And we can do that along the bottom here. First, I'm actually going to delete this initial rectangle we created just to get it out of our way. All right, so I use a polyline and I will draw another narrow rectangle across the bottom, C for close. I will extrude this one inch. I am going to copy it from this point to this point. Then I'm going to copy it again, this time selecting both of them, to the back side. So we have something that looks like that. Then we will move all four of those up. And I will select this upper point as the base point, snap it right there so they're in line all the way around. And then we can copy all four straight up. And we can go 13, 26, and 39 inches. So once we get to this point, our frame should look something like this. I'll change this to a shaded view so we can see it a little better. And we'll just orbit around. So there is the frame of our cabinet.